Hello everyone, this is your boy Innocent and welcome to the first tutorial in Microsoft Office Word. I'm using Microsoft Office Word 2013. If you have 2010 or 2016, that will be cool. If you don't have, I pray or I hope that you get that one too so that this tutorial will be very nice for you. So this is the first and the most basic tutorial in Microsoft Office Word. We are going to go through a whole lot of stuff. But this is the introduction so we are going to check about the interface and the tabs and other stuff that we have in microsoft office word please don't forget to subscribe like share and leave your comments in the um, comments box below so let's get into the video all right so i'm starting right from the top here this document one that you see here is what we call the title bar the title bar basically talks about um the current document that we are working on with the name of the current document that we are working with so if you have to save this particular document right now you will have the name of the document that we are working with or the name that we used to save right so this is basically the title bar all right so on my extreme left here i have what we call the quick access to bars and then the quick access to bars basically means as the name implies they give you quick access to some tools that you normally use right so for instance you have um, a tool in the view tab that you most like you use most often instead of you to be using that regularly you just have to pin it to the quick access to bar so that you can have a quick access to it you don't have to go around and then be going through tabs to find it you just pin it to the quick access to bar and then you are good to go all right so what we have over here just like i mentioned earlier is what we call the tabs mind you word documents works with tabs groups and commands all right so here we have the tabs over here the tab starts from home to view and under the tabs those things that you see over here is what we call the groups so if I say that let's go to the insert tab and then to the illustration group I refer to the insert tab and the illustration group and then under the illustration groups all that you see under them is what we call the commands so for instance you want to change the font size or the font style of your of your work or your documents you don't have to go anywhere other than the home tab the font group and then you are going to find the various commands over there of which we have the font type over there and the font size over there all right so we talk about the home tab up to the view tab obviously we are going to be using them in the subsequent video so we don't have to explain them one by one we'll be using the command so all that i need you to understand is that if i say that we are going to the page um, tab and then we are going to the maybe the paragraph group you have to know that we are going to the page layout and then the, the paragraph group that's all that i want you to understand so all that you see from this home tab to the view tab is up to this point is what we call the ribbon so the ribbon covers all these parts i mean all these parts right uh -huh. so that is basically what the ribbon is about so let me talk about the points that is blinking over here this is what we call the insertion point. the insertion point is basically where we start to do any of our work so if you want to type anything right now you start from um, the insertion point so it's, it's, it's more or less like the initial point where we start to do anything in the um, in word documents all right so if you right click you're going to have something that we call the mini toolbar so the mini toolbar contains um, font types and font groups the bold and other stuff the font paragraph and so many things you can just take your time to go through all of them because we are going to use them in the subsequent video so we don't have to explain much into them when we get there we are going to know all those things and i come to my extreme left down here that is this is what we call the status bar the status bar will give you analysis of what you are doing the current page you are how many pages you are having so far and then the number of words that you are having and other stuff so errors that you make so the status bar will tell you all those things and this is 
what we call the view button so in Microsoft Office Word you can view in the read mode you can see the read mode and then you can view also in a print layout and of course the web layout and finally we're going to talk about the zoom you can zoom in you can make your work or your document very small you can zoom out to make your document very big okay so I believe this is all that we will cover for today I want to make this very short and quick so in the next tutorial we're going to talk about opening documents and then we will go to save and other stuff so I hope this video was helpful if it was I hope you give it a like and then you subscribe for more tutorials thanks so much for watching I'll catch you in the next video bye